chapter 16th and 17th verse <clears throat> and I will pray the Father he shall give you another comforter mm -hmm. that he may abide with you abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not Neither knoweth him, but ye know, know him, for he <coughs> dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And shall <coughs> be in, within you. That is some good reading there. That's, <coughs> to me, the Holy Spirit is a 
leads and guides me every day of the week. Yeah. And Amen. He gives me wisdom. Yes. It just, I'm just so thankful for the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, anyone that would like to pay their tithes and offerings to have we have our, our uh, plate at the, at, at the uh, door. And anybody that would have time wants to pay their tithes and offerings. Happy birthdays last week. Good work. 
That's right. Amen. 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 But anyway, I still need your prayers. So, you know, yes, every day it's, it's kind of hard sometimes to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. The old devil will sneak in there and throw something at you. So, but I love the Lord, and, and I, I just I, I, I just want to do more for you. Amen. 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 That's a beautiful testimony, my brother. God bless you. Wow. Hallelujah. Yes, there's nothing like, like prayer. It is a powerful thing. Powerful. We're so glad that Brother Allen's doing so good. We heard him. They sent me a video. We heard him singing and talking. And that's prayer for you. We've been praying for that mm -hmm. precious brother for, for a long time now. And God has touched him, has raised him from the sickness. Right. And pretty soon he'll be in the church somewhere testifying and witnessing, worshiping and praising God for the God that we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I just love the Lord myself. I look a little bit different this morning. Some of you might have not recognized me at the beginning. Some young, young lady over there. But uh, it's because of the COVID that attacked us all. But you know what? The COVID is nothing compared to our Redeemer, our Savior. My hair will grow back again. I've always had long, full hair, beautiful hair because of him. And uh, so my beloved husband said, I'm going to get you a wig, sweetheart. And I said, okay. You know, I, I, uh, I'm a very submissive wife and woman. I've always believed in being submissive to your husband. And he's a good man, good provider, just a dynamic, handsome man. <laughs> to me, he's so handsome. <laughs> so, but uh, God is good. And we're, I'm so happy that we're here at the house of the king. And I'm so happy that all of us are together. Amen. And one of these days we're going to be up there in heaven and never again to be separated, Brother Emmanuel. Yeah. We'll be together forever worshiping the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yeah. He's about ready to come. He's, he's at the door, praise God. And let's pray for the Ukraine. Let's pray for uh, oh, yes. Russia. Let's pray for Mr. Putin. You know, even though he may be a very wicked man and the other people too. God loves him. God loves him just like he loves us, and especially those of us uh, that lived a very wicked life. I didn't live a wicked life, but a lot of us have lived a wicked life, but God rescued us, picked us up, and he said, come, my child, I'll make something beautiful out of you. And he has he's made something awesome. So pray for the Russian people. Pray for those that are starving and all the mess that's going on out there. Only like this beloved brother just said, only God knows what's Amen. going on and why he's right. allowing it. We don't understand God's ways because he's an awesome way above God. But uh, we go along with it and, and pray for them. And, and let's continue praying, being prayer warriors in the house of the king, you know. Because one of these days we're going to be praising and worshiping forever. So we might as well start doing it now though. We're still here on earth. Yeah. Praise him, worship him, love one another, forgive each other, understand yeah. each other. You know, be more like Jesus, right? Amen. That's that's what it's all about. When He filled us with His Spirit, He filled us so that we can be like Him, and yeah. then go and make disciples of others. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Anyone else have a testimony? I just have to stand up. I love the Lord. He's right. been so good to me, and mm -hmm. you know, we talk about power. You know. Uh, they talk about, you know, uh, missiles and, you know, all of these things. And even the atom bomb, you know, how powerful it was. Right. And, you know, God's more powerful than all of that. Now. You know, we we can see that different ones believe that the earth was uh, one big bang. And that's a lie. You know, yeah. it, said, it said that the word, he spoke the word and he spoke the world into existence. Amen. My friend, that's power. Amen. Power in the word. Power, power in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Well, I just want to give God some praise this morning. Yes. I love him. He's done a lot for me. But back in 2003, he healed me from cancer. Ooh. It's been almost, almost 20 And I'm thankful for that. And it's only by God's hand yes. and His will yes. that that has happened. And I want to give Him praise. He is still in the healing business. Amen. Amen. Yes. He is still in the miracle yes. business. Yes. Amen. And sometimes we tend to, like it's been almost 20 years, and sometimes, you know, you kind of, it gets 
But you know, we have to be reminded sometimes. Yes. God has done an awesome thing for me. He's done many awesome things for me, but the best thing he's ever done for me is to send his son yes. to, die to die for my sin. Yes. Yes. So yes. I can be reunited and, and go live with him forever and ever. And that's that's a good God. Yes. 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 And he's worthy of praise. He's worthy of yes. worship yes. all the time. Yes. Not yes. just for the little 30 minutes or whatever that we're doing praise and worship. Come songs. on now. But all the time, yeah. worthy of our praise. Yes. Worthy of it. Yeah. 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 And I think if we if we all believe that, we really need to get serious and get into the yeah. worship time. Amen. 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 And well, again, yes. Go ahead. You know, the reason I haven't been here the last couple of weeks, I've had uh, problems with water building up on me. I got up one morning and I guess somebody believed this, but my whole entire left eye was swelled up. Wow. With water, mm -hmm. my right eye was swell up, my hands were all swelling up. I couldn't get to the doctor, they said it was off the COVID, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just began to ask the Lord and I start seeing more water. I said, water's going to begin to come off little by little. But we just don't know what we're going to face tomorrow. That's right. right. Yeah. right. That's the truth. <coughs> it, it, it pays no price right now as your Lord and Savior. But uh, I just want to thank God for everything he's done for me. I'm glad to be back in church this morning. You Amen. don't know what's like this church just revealed. I mean, you get hungry for it, brother, man. You don't want to be back to the house of God. Yes. Amen. I just want to thank God for everything he's done for me. Amen. Amen. on us, us weak-minded people <laughs> that leave their lights on at, at town and country Saturday. <clears throat> Here I am, <clears throat> very stone dead, and, <clears throat> and you can't guess what happened. Brother Jim just walked up and <clears throat> went there and said, hey, i got to jump the cable. And the parking spot next to me here was empty. You know, it just almost like it, this was the plan. <laughs> so, we, so we just pulled up and jumped, and got us jumped, and we got on our way. Now, that, that's a minor thing, but it takes care of weak minor people. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does. It does. Yes, sir. So I thank the Lord for that, and I thank the Lord for Brother Jim. Yeah. He had a Battery cables, I don't have nothing. I need my screwdriver in my truck. Great I think Amen. many times we have bad, serious problems because we overlook the small problems. <laughs> God's got to get our attention, you know. And He's going to get our attention one way or the other. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. So, <clears throat> nothing else. We'll turn the service over to our praise and worship service.
says mansion, but that was my mansion back then. It was, right. a, it was a cabin. What did it say? It was a cabin song. I was 14 when I moved to Missouri. I went to, school, went to church at Oak and Sybil and uh, what school was that there? Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a lady that adopted me. It's not legally adopted me, but you know, took me under a wing because I did have such a bad home life. And I called her Mama Pat. And um, her two daughters were going to be with me, and I was always at her house. Sister Goldie would get us girls. Months ago, maybe one of the girls was diagnosed with cancer and had suicide. Oh, so sure. I saw her remind me of one of those girls that I met. She said, I want you. Mm -hmm. Bless, Bless her, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lord. And the greatest thing that she has is she's in the presence of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 We must yeah. rejoice yeah. about that. We should rejoice. Yes. Yes. She, yes. yes. she did yes. see it. She, she just made it. Space. That's right.
thank you. Thank you, Father God, that you sent Jesus yes. in our place. Yes. Thank you for that new life yes. and your fresh mercy every day. Father, like this song says, please use us. We just yield ourselves to you totally and completely right now in this place. Yes. Satellite 
about two years ago. I don't even have a TV program because I want my trust to be in God. Yeah. I, I want to be able to know that Jesus Christ is in charge. Yes. Yeah. Like Brother Mike said, power. And, uh, you can talk about all the power that they've got stored up in the world and if you, if you uh, let your mind study on that and uh, you think of nothing else but that pretty soon you'll get to where you're not thinking about who God is at all but you got your mind on all the war material that is stored up and what is that compared to the universe That's right. to the creation of God yeah. I mean by his word he spoke uh, this world into existence yeah. and each one of us was created by him the Bible says that everything that was created was created by him and nothing that was created was created without him yeah. so I know where my faith needs to be at this morning. Yeah. My faith is in God the Father, yeah. God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He said that we would be endued with power from on high. That's what Jesus said on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There was a, something that happened that on the face of this earth. Actually, it started with the day that, that Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost yes. in his mother's yes. womb. I mean, uh, things begin to change in this world. Amen. And it's the, I mean, the love of God. Yes. The Amen. Spirit of God. The whole everything that he's got in his will for mankind yes. live right inside here. If you're a Christian, Amen. oh, Amen. how great it is to know my heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, my elder brother. I mean, Jesus is my elder brother. Do you know he is the first fruit of this plan that hey. we're living in today? That's right. yeah. Go on, man. He has. The, I mean, he's got the power. He said all power was given unto him That's right. by God the Father. Amen. And we're in his will and we're in his testimony yes. this morning. Yes. Testament. Oh, uh, I mean, we've got something to shout yes. about Amen. this morning. Yeah. If you want to shout, You've got something to shout about. Yeah. I've got salvation not through me, but through my Redeemer. Yeah. My Redeemer liveth. Yeah. You yeah. know why? Yeah. I know because I feel him in my soul. Yeah. I feel him in my spirit this morning. Yeah. He lives, and I don't have to have anybody to convince me about it. Amen. Yeah. My Lord liveth. Oh, there, there was a day, uh, Brother James, I've known Brother James Slater about all of his life, and there was a day when me or him, either one, uh, we wasn't in church. We didn't serve God. Right. But my God back then was the world. Yeah. But uh, I got acquainted with the Savior. I mean, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I, I could recommend him to the President of the United States. If I had the, if I had the uh, honor and privilege of uh, uh, seeing him face to face, I've seen some people from the, uh, uh, our state capital. They come by my place. Uh, one man told me, he said, I just want to tell you thanks for what you're doing. He was a representative. And uh, 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 I have had chances to witness to people that uh, uh, they appreciate people getting out 
And then the testimony yeah. comes. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Oh, we need to let the power of God uh, uh, let it live in us. But yeah. not only let it live in us, we need to live in the power yeah. of God. Yeah. And be able to stand up bold and strong yes. and true and, and tell people that my life is a, a different since I met Jesus Christ, yeah. my yeah. Lord and Savior. I mean, we need to be bold about it. Yes, uh, right. We need to be yes. able to shout. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, we <coughs> need to be able to let people know that we're uh, victorious. Yes, Amen. we are. Amen. Amen. Thank you, The Jesus. Bible says, Sister Jackie, if a righteous man falls seven times, he won't lay there, right. but he'll get up. Amen. He'll Amen. go on. He'll go on to be with the Lord. I mean to live for the Lord. You know, I'm thankful that God didn't give up on me no, the first no. time I failed. No, he but he, he, he told me that if I would get up and go on, I'd still be his son. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm not preaching failure this morning. I'm preaching that you can be a Christian but it's only through Jesus Christ yeah. and that power that he said yeah. that we've been dealt with. I'm talking about this morning the power. I'm not ashamed to say of the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. because that's what it is. Amen. And you Amen. can call it the Spirit of God, uh, whatever you want to call it, the Holy Spirit. Uh, but it's the third member in the yes. Godhead, yes. and it's yes. God the Father, yes. God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 And that's where the righteousness of God yes. comes yes. into us. I probably won't use too many uh, scriptures this morning uh, because, uh, as usual, I'm bubbling over inside. Uh, you know why? Because the, the Spirit of God keeps me. And he said that I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And uh, I found out that uh, if I turn my uh, face toward Jesus, that there's a light that shines down on me. And that light is the righteousness of God. And it puts a joy within me. Uh, you might wonder why that I'm like this all the time. It's because uh, of the uh, presence of God yes, that is with me. Amen. Amen. I found the real life. Yes. Amen. Before this, uh, I was dead. Yes. I, I wasn't a child of God because I was dead. Yeah, right. uh, but Jesus came that I might have life. Have oh. life through him. Yes. Amen. And he's the one that made yeah. the way. Amen. I'm going to start in the first verse in the third chapter here of First John. And oh, I thank the Lord for his word that he has uh, put forward to us, uh, Brother Junior. Oh, and you was testifying about the day that you got saved here. I remember that because uh, God had put Brother Junior on my heart to pray for him. And I've been praying for him for three years. I've never met him, but I heard of him. And God uh, uh, put love in my heart for him. And uh, God didn't take that love away. And I've seen him changed uh, uh, from the unrighteous man to a righteous man. Right here, right here at this song. Hallelujah. Oh, he's just one. Uh, but I mean, if it, he was the only one, let me tell you what, it would make all the years that I've been preaching worthwhile. Amen. Amen. Oh, I thank God for the ones that I've known almost all my life that I can look at you. And most of you are getting the, your senior citizens and getting to be elderly people. Right. I, I'm an elderly person. I'm 83 years old, but I thank the Lord that he still gives me the power. Amen. It's only by God that yes, uh, I have these words to say yes, to Lord. him. It's yes, only yes. by God because uh, this wasn't my nature. 
I wanted to be out where there was excitement. I'm talking about the excitement of the world. Uh, but in this day and time, I want to be uh, where there is victory in Jesus uh, in the house of God. Uh, this is my place to be. Uh, and this is the place that I find yeah. peace. Amen. I mean, uh, uh, you can talk about all the things that are going on, but I've got peace of God. Yeah. Amen. I believe that I'm going to spend eternity Jesus. with Him. Amen. Oh, and uh, we've got this look forward to all these unknown things. I'm going to preach on love this morning. It says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Mm -hmm. That's why I was sitting there uh, just uh, praising God for what he done back there on the cross of Calvary. Yeah. And, uh, even before that, from the foundation of the world, when the plan was made that one day there was going to be a redeemer that was going to be born into the land. Uh, and that it, uh, yeah. that redeemer, all that redeemer was going to be the son of God. I mean, he was going to be the, uh, the one that could plant uh, uh, this seed of righteousness within us that uh, uh, means so much more uh, than anything of the world. It says in here, uh, for you not to love the world. It says, if you love the world, I'm talking about in the book of John here, it says if you love the world, the love of God is not in you. And, and, and let me tell you something once that Jesus uh, uh, gets a hold of you and he does this thing inside of your heart and he mm -hmm. changes you. He makes a change within you. Uh, you don't want anything to do with the world anymore. Amen. I mean, there's things that we can uh, uh, we can have pleasure in. It's not wrong to enjoy the things that God has created, mm -hmm. uh, but it's wrong if you start worshiping the uh, things that God created. Yeah. We're supposed to uh, 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 worship the Creator, Amen. not the creation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, we've got it all for a blessing. I'm thankful that God has provided for me a home to live in, yeah. a home that's paid for. I'm thankful that he provides <coughs> everything every day uh, uh, me, that I need to have a living yes. here on the face of this earth. Uh, but the most important thing that I've got in my life is the joy of salvation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Uh, I mean, there's enough there to preach on uh, probably for two or three hours uh, if I just wanted to meditate upon this one oh, sentence. Yeah. Uh, 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 I could look at this and I could uh, examine it and yeah. I could see if I was walking uh, in the footsteps of Jesus, uh, yes. and am I really uh, aware? And am I really uh, doing what His Word says do? Yes. I mean, if I'm a Christian this morning, uh, that means that I'm Christ-like. If I'm a Christian, and it's uh, up to me to see that I obey the Word of God, Amen. if I'm obedient Amen. to the Word of God, and uh, let me tell you. I can be assured that I'm going to make heaven my yes, home. Sir. I had the uh, deacons tell me one time, a, a deacon in this church, he said, we'll never know uh, whether we're going to be saved or not until we stand before uh, God on judgment day. And mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you, my Bible makes it uh, plain and clear oh, yeah. that I can know uh, within yeah. my heart yeah. and you know yeah. I've got a witness yeah. in here yeah. I've got this witness that uh, tells me uh, that I am the son of God yeah. uh, if you're a Christian this morning uh, you've got that witness within you uh, because there's an excitement 
that yeah. lives there. Yes. Uh, when you come into church, uh, uh, you don't feel bored. You're not bored. No. If you're bored with it, there's something wrong with you. Come on, and you need to make another trip, uh, maybe around Mount Zion. You might, might uh, need to make another trip uh, because you've not got delivered yet. Yeah. Come on. Praise God. But if the joy of the Lord, if it boils up within you, uh, when you come into church and you feel his presence and uh, you look around and you see uh, the saints of God uh, gathering in, you'll, uh, uh, you just start to thank Jesus. Oh, I thank you and I praise you, Lord, uh, for yes. each one of these that uh, has come in that's a saint of God yes. this morning. Amen. Man, woman, boy, girl, whatever it might be. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you got children, uh, get in church. Yeah. Uh, grace and love and the yeah. nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yeah. Get righteous with God. Uh, raise your children up so they'll know the right way. And uh, you can so you'll know the right way. And you can raise them up and teach them yeah. the righteousness of God. Amen. It says that we should be called the sons of God. And that, that don't just mean sons. Do you know that in heaven there's not going to be male or female? Right. Right. There will not be male or female. Oh. Jesus said he told them, of the scribes and the Pharisees, he said, you do always err. Mm -hmm. uh, wondering who uh, talked about the woman that had been married five to five brothers and, and wondering which one of the brothers was going to be her husband. Mm -hmm. He said, you do always err because there will neither be male nor female mm -hmm. in heaven. There will not be married nor given in marriage. In the kingdom of heaven, yes, sir, yes. Yes. Praise God. we'll all be the saints of God. Yes. 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 Oh, what a day that will be. Yes. When my Jesus, I shall see. Yes. I can't wait to see him coming and splitting the eastern sky and coming yes. to get this church. This, yes. The Bible talks about this church that's without spot and without blemish. Do you know that there's only one way? that I can be without spot and without blemish this morning. It's not through me, but it's through the righteousness of yeah, Christ. Yeah. It's through the blood of Jesus that, that blocks out every sin, every article uh, that was ever wrote down. Do you know one time I had a whole book of unrighteousness that was wrote against me, but the Bible said that Jesus' blood Blotted out every article that Praise was ever God. wrote yeah. against me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise I mean, God. it's all in this one verse that I'm going to preach from today. I mean, and, and you can take the holy word of God and you can get so excited yeah. about it, you can't get past just uh, <coughs> maybe one word in it, Sister Jeanette. Uh, you can study on that and pray on it, and let the Spirit of God move on you on that uh, for a day, maybe a week. I preached from Romans, I think, two years uh, back when I first started in this church. I never got out of Romans, uh, and I could still go back and uh, preach to you some messages in Romans because that is a very important book yes, of the Bible. Is. Yes, it is. Another powerful book is the book of Acts. Yes. I've been studying in the book of Acts for oh, ever since I've been a preacher. Yes. And I'm yes. telling you something. If that happened in the book of Acts, I'm not going to say there was a time come when all that ceased and that was just for them people back then. I'm living in the dispensation of Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm living in the time he said Amen. you'll be endued with power from on high. Right. Oh, there's a lot of things that uh, it tells you in the Bible that uh, you can have any, but the main thing is love. 
is the one of God. Right. Without blood, you cannot enter into the kingdom. Of right. Right. If you don't love Amen. your brother that Amen. you have seen, the Bible says, can. how can you love a God that you've not seen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew not him. Oh, there was one time when I thought of hunting and fishing and the, all the other things, the honky tonks and the, the pool halls and the, the getting out the vice driving cars and the, things like that. I thought this was the excitement of life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but let me tell you something. I grew up one day. I was 45 years old. Yeah. I grew up on this old yeah. down here. It took me about five minutes. Uh, uh, the old things passed away, and behold, all things become new. I looked at the crowd of people that was crowded around me, and I looked up, and I, I seen something new. You know what that was? Was love. I didn't have that old angry, hateful spirit anymore. Oh, but there was a change in me. A change that that comes straight from the throne of God. Yes. Yes. I mean, it, the, uh, the blood of Jesus touched me in the heart. Yes. It washed uh, everything. Oh, it took the old black heart that was in here uh, with a little bit of red blood, That's and it washed it white as snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thank God. And he is a miraculous God. Yes. And let me tell you that this morning. And Jesus Christ, uh, he is miraculous. He uh, is. Everything that he done for us, how could anyone else say that you must be born again? Yes. And no one had the right or the strength to say that. He told Nicodemus, he said, uh, you must be born again. He said that's the only way to get into the family of God. Yes, and the, oh, we've all got to have that born again experience with Jesus Christ. Uh, it's true, I believe, that you get the Spirit of God. But the Bible said, repent and be baptized uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and ye shall receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And, and oh, I thank, thank him that it's that way. I want that. You know why? Yeah, yeah. I want it because it's a gift of God. Yeah, and yeah. they said, and all you got to do is ask for it. All yeah. you got to do is tell him, I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. And, and all you've got to do is, uh, I believe in water baptism. That yeah. Jesus believed in water baptism. Yeah. Yes, I'm not did. saying this is salvation. Uh, but it is a symbol of dying out to this yes. world in a watery grave, and you come up a new creation. Amen. 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 I believe in it. Yeah. Jesus met John, mm -hmm. and he told him, he said, I want you to baptize me. Mm -hmm. John said, I'm not even worthy okay. to unlatch mm -hmm. your shoes, let alone baptize you. Right. But John baptized Jesus there in the river of Jordan and a dove came down from heaven and, and the Spirit of God came yes. down and he, he landed on Jesus' shoulder Praise and I believe that he spoke the words. He said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Yes. And you know and, and what a blessing it would be for such a thing as that to happen to you in this day and time for uh, the Spirit of God to come down on you. Mm. I can tell you one thing I've seen of the evidence of the Spirit of God that touched the face of a, a many old unrighteous person that yes. was a drunk or something. Mm. They'd uh, go to the altar and mm. they would go down there with the looks of sin all over their face. But when they would get up there would be a shine on their face yes, that I only do. God could put but there. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm yeah. telling you what, yeah. the evidence of God is all in this place yeah. because 
I see the shine, the the light of God yes. upon each one of you. Yes. And the Bible says that uh, we are the light of God. Yes. Oh, yes. are you yes. letting that light shine bright uh, uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ uh, in this day that we're living? Do you know that this day was planned by God before the foundation of the world? Yes. If you don't believe it, go back and read the third chapter of Ecclesiastic and uh, you'll find out that there's a time uh, for everything. Right. A time to be born, a time to die, right. a time to uh, uh, reap, a time to sow, and a time to reap, a time to gather, and a time to get rid of. Yeah. Right. You know, when I got saved, I realized that there was a time to get rid of things. And, uh, I had quit smoking probably a month before I got started, got saved. And uh, that night when I got saved, the preacher said, all right, you ready to do what God has called you to do? And I said, no, but I, I will. I'm going to. And he said next Sunday, uh, next Sunday morning, I believe it was, he said, you can preach the gospel. Here. Praise God. I got up and I, I preached some, but I stood here and I I cried my <coughs> eyes out. Oh, once I was lost, but Jesus, he found me. Yeah. Yeah. He saved me and he set Thank me you. free Praise from God. the uh, lifetime of burden of sin. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank him for that. I, I thank the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father, that they, they made a plan for him to come to this world, right. give up the riches yeah. of heaven and come to this world yeah. and be a carpenter's son yes. and preach the gospel and to die on the cross of Calvary and on the third day be uh, resurrected and set this plan, this new testament that we're living in today Amen. for a uh, uh, you and me, everyone that's a Christian, we become an heir of God. Yes. Yeah. A joint heir with Jesus yes. Christ. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 being a Gentile, I'm not a Jew. I may have Jewish blood yes. in me. I don't really know. But I know that I'm a Gentile. Yes, sir. And, and I was adopted into the family of God. Yes. Yes. When you look at this, and the, you see what it's saying. What manner of love, and, and what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Yes. Yeah. He made a plan that uh, any of you that's adopted children, any of you that's had adopted children in your family, you know what it is to adopt a stranger. Yes. That's talking. That's what this is talking about. This gospel was sent to the. Jews to the Israelite people. Right. It wasn't sent to us, yes. but the plan was for it to go Thank to you. the world because yes. it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It wasn't just the Jews uh, denied it and they, it. they crucified God, yes. uh, but it was through him that we was adopted in yes. uh, through the uh, rejection yes. of the Jewish uh, 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 nation that we was adopted in yes. and we became sons of God yes. Yes. and we have the royal blood of Jesus flowing wow. through our yes. veins. Yes. Praise Thank the Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. I, I'm telling you, I don't know how long I've been preaching this morning. I don't know, but it's 15 after 12 right yes. now. Yes, okay. You go on, brother. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But, uh, yeah. There is so much to preach about this morning, but it's all around Jesus Christ this morning. There's nothing that in me to preach about. I'm talking about the, the way I was born, the uh, who I was born to be, but in the new creation of God, I've got every right that yeah. there is to stand up here 
because yes. I was called. Amen. I was ordained by I I was ordained by God the Father. He's the one that called me. He's the one that anointed me. Right. It was by him. Do you know that man cannot anoint you to do anything? Right. Oh. And they can give you a license and, and oh. they can ordain you, but they cannot anoint you. They cannot put that anointing upon Amen. you. That has got to come uh, through the uh, uh, Spirit of God. Amen. That's the only way right. that you can be anointed. Right, and, uh, and if I uh, back up uh, some, it talks about the anointing uh, uh, that it, uh, up here in the 27th verse of, uh, of uh, chapter 2. It, it says, but the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you, and you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Amen. Amen. That's a mouthful, ain't it? Yes, it and there's enough there to preach on for a long time. Amen. I mean, uh, when I get started in the Word of God, it just keeps multiplying, yeah. multiplying, and there really is no end to it. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank the Lord for Brother Don. Yes. yes. He's been my friend ever since I've been preaching. Oh. Me and him started about the same time, yes. and a whole gang of other young ministers back Praise then. God. Some of them have gone on to be with the Lord now. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Don's got a brother that preached Cecil. He's gone on to be with the Lord. Yeah. Brother Bob Henderson started back then. Oh, you talk, talk about slanging. That man could, uh, he could, if anyone could get a sinner to the altar through their song, wow. he could. But he went on to be with the Lord several years ago. My wife went on to be with the Lord almost nine years ago. Now, but, uh, I'm sad to say my mom and dad was not alive when I started preaching. How I'd love to have been able to stand behind the pulpit and preach to both of them because they prayed for me so much. Amen. Brother James, how I would love to have been able to preach to your dad because he was an example that I remember yes. as being a strong, a straight man that was true with God. Yeah. I remember so many. The woman that sang uh, the wife song, I believe it was she sung. What's the name of that? Uh, Jesus, 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 that was it. Sister Lois Lemon, she used to stand and sing that in this church. Before there was ever a church here, when we, they had in the old schoolhouse, she'd get up and she'd start singing, Jesus, Jesus, Lord, please don't refuse. Yes. Oh. Surely there must be a work that I can do. And I mean, about that time, there'd be something happen to her. She'd start shouting all up and down the aisle. And not only that, the whole church back then, that church up there, it wasn't anything for there to be 150 people on Sunday. They couldn't get in the old schoolhouse. There'd be more outside. Praise but Harry God. Walker always said on that side, the Spirit of God get moving. He would scream. He was in you. Yeah. He would scream and he would jump. I mean, just as far as he could jump, <laughs> he'd hit the, the floors in that old one-room schoolhouse. That building would tremble. I mean, <laughs> you talk about shaking, you think it's going to fall off the foundation. That's right. Right. But then that didn't put a stop to it. He'd start up and down the aisle. 
just to jump and like a frog down the aisle. I mean, just a jumping and a screaming and a hollering. And the, the whole church before it was over that was uh, Christians was shouting. That's right, that's right. And the ones that wasn't shouting was looking at them like, what is going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't where I should be with God back then, but I was where I could feel God. That's and right. I knew that's what I wanted. I wanted that for a lifetime. <coughs> and I wanted that through eternity. Amen. I wanted to be a child Amen. of God. Amen, yeah. Amen Pastor. Amen. Amen. I thank God that, like I've said before, I thank God I was born in the United States. Oh, Amen. Amen. I thank God I was born in Wayne County, yes. here in the Patterson area, in this community. I believe that God had a calling on me back before I ever surrendered to preach to him. The gifts and the callings come without repentance. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that God called me to be a pastor here at Rain Street many long years ago, probably 50 years ago or so. And I didn't heed to even the calling of preaching. After I got married, it was 25 years before I got saved. Really, I'm talking about really converted. Right. Uh, uh, Peter followed Christ, but he wasn't converted. Right. And because the, Jesus told him that Satan desired to sift him yeah. uh, like sand, I believe it's sand. And uh, that's exactly the way Satan is with every one of us. Right. His desire is to destroy that person right. before yes. they have a chance to get in. Yeah. To the Word of God. Right. Now, I don't know if I told this last week, but I cut my left hand one time at Count's Junkyard. And I was 100 yards or so from my truck. The time I got there, I was passing out. Margaret was sitting behind the wheel. I mean, we was just new and married. And I got in that truck. I told her to get over it. I said, I've got to get in and sit down. When I got behind the wheel, I went out. She said I went into a convulsion, and I just twisted and turned and rolled behind the wheel. Well, when I did, I saw myself floating in a tunnel, and God and the devil was arguing over me. The devil was telling God that I belonged to him, and the Lord told him I didn't. Yeah. And uh, I come to, and uh, I couldn't drive home because I was too weak. Yeah. I had a guy named Buford Bearden with me, and I let him drive home. But that's one time. Another time, I had a truck wheel blow up with me. The devil tried to kill me when I was young. Mm -hmm. That truck wheel blew up, knocked me flat on the pavement and I looked up and that ring was just turning over and over up in the air. It come down and landed on a building, Guy McMurray out towards the lake. It put a knot on my forehead the size of an egg. I was probably within just a fraction of an inch being killed that day. Wow. Another day in St. Louis, I was in the basement, and I, I had gasoline down there. I should have knew better than that. I was washing out the building. And the hot water heater kicked on. Fire came over to me. And I mean, immediately, I was far from my feet to my head. I lived on the first floor, and I ran up steps. My daughter's about six. She's out in the backyard. And I said, go get me a quilt. She just jumped up and down and started screaming. So I ran in the house, got a quilt, smothered the fire out. And I told my sister-in-law, I said, call the fire department. I looked down there and everything was on fire. Well, fire department come. Thing of it is, I didn't think to pray. Uh, 
I thought I never saw that die like this. That was my thought. But the fire department come and they put the fire out. I went and told the landlord and uh, he turned it into the insurance company that they questioned me. They said, how did this happen? I told them exactly how it happened. You know, the insurance company paid for every bit of damage. You know why? Because I told the truth. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what they told me. They said, if you were lied about it, you'd have had to pay for that. That's right. Said, since you told the truth, said, we're going to pay for it. That's good. I've had a lot to thank God for. It. Three times I, I should have died. But God was there to rescue me. It wasn't the devil. It was God that was yeah. there to rescue me. Yes, it was. And I, oh, I serve the truth and the living God. Amen. And I, I'm one of his sons this yes. morning. I, I want to stand and witness to you this morning. Yes. That it's through Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. That you can have this life. That yes. Yes. That you can have life. And have it more abundantly. Well, I'm going to close there. I'm not preached out, I can tell you that. <laughs> but I'm going to close there this morning. I've probably been preaching close to an hour. You know how long it seems to me? Mm -hmm. About five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what the joy of the Lord is yeah. until you get up here and you start feeling that precious anointing. Yeah. And Jesus... Uh, Telling you, calling you son. Yes. Oh, uh, even though you're not perfect, I'm not a perfect person. No, we're not. We're and not. I believe in repenting every day. I'm, now, I'm not saying I go out and I sin no. and, and do wrong, but I am not perfect. I'll never be smart enough to be perfect in this life. Yes. But I'm, I've got one that's smart enough yes. that's leading me. Yes. And that's Jesus Christ, Amen. my Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I, I'll shut my mouth <laughs> so you can go, go home and eat. <laughs> but this is my food been here. Yes. <laughs> Jesus said, I have meat that you know not of. My meat is to do the will yes. of the Father. Amen. That's my meat this morning. I've got the meat <coughs> to do the will of the Father. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Everybody happy this morning? Amen. 